Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Easter Sunday. Actually, in fact, I have something for this. Hi, so happy Easter Sunday, everybody. This is Michelle with Confessions of a Recovering Hoarder here. I believe this is episode five or six. Um, I know that it doesn't look like there's a lot of progress, but something that everybody hoarder or not needs to be aware of is that progress is never linear and that baby steps do need to be acknowledged. You know, this area, if you compare today's footage to uh, last episode's footage, you'll see that this area looks a little bit clearer. Um, What I'm going to do today is I'm going to focus on attacking this monster of a bookshelf. The goal is to get rid of the actual bookshelf to replace it with this bookshelf. Um, and I do believe that everything that I have will fit there, and if there's anything that doesn't fit, that means it's time to get rid of it. Um, One more thing that I just want to mention in today's video blog is, oh, wait, 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 oh, I have to show everybody the recocked kitchen area. Take this off. ADD, ADD. (laughs) That pretty much describes me. Yeah, but I filled up all the holes in there, um, so now my house is not going to rot, uh, which is good. Ooh, somebody had given me a note or, you know, a suggestion, a constructive criticism about this vlog, which related to studying the camera more because it makes people dizzy. So that has been duly noted, and I will from now on try very hard to study my camera. Um... One last thing I want to say before I sign off is that lists, as silly as they may seem to some people, actually do help me out a lot. They're a very important motivational tool. I've written to-do lists for as long as I can remember, to be honest. I've gone through old notebooks from 12 years ago and found to-do lists, things to do today, things to do from now on, etc. So because of what I've chosen to focus on today, I'm going to write it down on the list because even if it may sound silly, just the simple act of crossing something off on my list makes me feel so good. It makes me feel so motivated. It makes me feel like progress is being made and to bring this full circle. It, makes, it forces me to acknowledge the baby steps, the little bits of progress so that I can remind myself that progress is still being made, even if it doesn't look like it. So, um, let's see. Today, I am going to deal with the bookshelf. I'm very lucky that my son is asleep right now. And I'm going to... After that, if I get that done by the end of today, I'm going to deal with the CDs and DVDs. After that, I'm going to clear off this table right here because there's a ton of stuff that doesn't belong here. Clear off, I call it the island. Well, it's really not an island anymore. And a little sub uh, part of that project involves moving these speakers to the desk, which is where they belong. Move speakers to desk. To all of you recovering hoarders out there, remember there is hope. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Believe me. Believe me. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, I will be showing you some before pictures in, in the next coming episodes. But just remember, the hardest thing to do is start. Once you start, you just believe in yourself and trust that what you're doing is right and that you're taking the right steps even if you don't have support from other people. That's a very, very, very big step and it will ultimately lead to success if you just follow through with it and just keep going. Um, Peace.